Hi there, beautiful souls. Welcome, welcome back, or welcome to The Hawk and I. My name is Lana Zielinski, and I work in the spirit dimensions. As always, in all my videos, simply take what resonates, and you're welcome to leave the rest right here. The door of 2023 is closing, and what a beautiful year it has been here on the YouTube channel with all of you. We've had some great chats, sharing different perspectives on spirituality, supporting one another, live energy updates a couple times a week. And we've built this beautiful community and I have absolutely loved it. It has been just, I think the highlight, the highlight of, uh, of my year as far or as the Hawk and I goes and um, growth and connecting with people. I love it so much. 2024, welcome. 2024. So I have spent some time in the energy of 2024. And I just want to say, um, you know, with channeling and with energy and feeling into that choice and free will does alter things. And depending on choices that we make here collectively, that energy can move around. So some of what I say may change and some of what I may say may not, depending on um, the energy that we choose to lean into and the direction that we go in as a collective. So not everything is um, etched out in stone. Now, I have spent a significant amount of time feeling into what 2024 is going to bring us. And I am going to start off by saying it is very fast paced. It is coming in um, with a bit of a, a slow, relaxed kind of feeling. Um, many of you may spend the next couple days just kind of chill or just kind of breathing. But it's going to pick up momentum and a few really interesting um, directions. One um, I want to start with is um, we are going to see, and you're probably not surprised at this first part, part but we are going to see a big um, pickup in technology. This is going to be the biggest year that technology t um, grows. It's almost like it's so fast that we can't keep up with the change that technology is bringing in. And how I've was shown this was I was shown you know I have a chuckle here but I was shown the invention of the wheel and I was shown the invention of paper you know two big things that were are quite significant in the physical world um, and that's exactly what the growth in technology is is feeling like big significant change in in how technology works and we are seeing that you know um, currently you know with you know AI and VR and how that works and um, you know it's going to pick up a lot of momentum at a very very fast pace and with this fast pace when anything moves that fast it can be very difficult for many of us to process and that processing piece of the speed and how fast things are changing energetically is going to affect many of us. Um, but a lot of the older generation, you know, the baby boomer, baby boomers um, and older, they're going to really struggle with being able to keep up energetically as well as as with tasks in the physical world is going to be moving so fast that there's also going to be a bit of a struggle with um, reality versus fiction what's real what's not real we're going to kind of be in this space of um is that real and and we're we're going to struggle with being able to even decipher certain things um for example you know and you can do this now i can post a picture of myself um with an ai screen behind me of me in another country and i'm not really in it and i can present that to you as oh hey look at me i'm I'm over here in this country, but I'm not really here. So there's going to be some what's real and what's not real kind of sifting and sorting and processing things. And as we process things, balance is going to be really important as we navigate through this energetically. So what do I mean by that? We are going to have to like take pauses. We're going to have to make sure that we're in balance with nature, making sure that we're outside, making sure that we're keeping, even though technology is great and can make our life easier, energetically, it can make things more complicated. And we're going to have to make sure that we're turning up the volume on getting outside. Grounding, being grounded in 2024 is going to be huge with the fast pace that things are going to move and change, especially with technology. So from a spiritual perspective, 
make sure that you're literally inserting into your calendars, into your agendas. Make sure that you are ins inserting this time, this day, on a regular basis, I am going to be outside connecting with the earth. I am going to go and listen to the birds. I know it sounds very simple, but I want you to remember that I said it. Overwhelm with what's real and what's not real and how fast things are going to change with technology. Um, and with those changes does come a lot of other things too that are that are going to cause a little bit of a fog of of what's really going on and how this technology is used. It will, you know, like everything, it's not always used for the highest good of everybody, right? So there's going to be a lot of that kind of floating through, but it didn't necessarily have this gripping panic or ick feeling to me. It was just this fast pace of keeping up and being able to navigate through it. Hmm. I know, I, and, and I'm not very tech savvy, so I'm probably gonna be one of the ones that have to process things, but just make sure that we're balancing. We're balancing simplicity with technology, and we're that's gotta be in balance, and it's going to be huge. And if we don't keep that in balance, we're, we're, going, we're going to, many of us will struggle. Um, the next um, piece of growth, um, and it does kind of connect a little bit with technology here, is I, I felt the medical world. So I seen the medical symbol um, and I felt the energy of progress in medicine. And I really had this excitement energy coming through of a cure. And I felt it connected very much to like the neuroskeleton system. Um, so I'm not sure if it's going to be like a, you know, a breakthrough with neurological diseases or skeletal dis diseases, but I felt my body able to like being able to move. And I, and I, and I felt it coming in, um, in such, um, an amazing, um, aha moment that we're putting something together in the medical community that has an advancement. So whether that be, um, you know, a new treatment or a new, a new medication, there's, there's going to be a breakthrough in 2024 in, in, like I said, something neuro. So I was, I was aware of my, my neuro system and my skeletal system. I, I, it just felt so, so good. Um, and that's huge. And I think, you know, we've been, you know, chipping away um, at, um, you know, you know, coming up with new ideas and, you know, we are making um, progress in certain diseases, but in other diseases, it's been kind of like the standstill and it's the standstill diseases that I kind of felt like there hasn't been any, any shifts or any new medicines or new technology for certain diseases. And that's where I felt it kicking in. Um, water. While I was sitting in meditation, I suddenly found myself kind of like in that, in a bit of a, a rising water, rising water. And the rising water had a few um, meanings. Um, number one, um, there's going to be a lot of cleansing. We're going to be kind of letting go of a lot of old things. Um, energetically, there's going to be a lot of cleansing, um, healing, right? The healing, the healing power of water. That's going to be a big part of it for many people. Many people are going to be coming into a place of either hitting the restart button, button letting go of old things that no longer serve them. We're going to be really aware of, of areas that we need growth in. We're going to be really aware of the changes we have to make personally and as a collective. The other piece with water was I got a little bit um, nervous in it. Um, with the with the other power of water, I do feel we're going to see um, increased storm activities, increased um, danger around water. Um, and I also felt that the water wasn't as clean as it needed to be. And I think it's going to have a small impact. Um, well, it's more than a small impact. It's, it's going to have an impact um, on vegetables, food supply. Um, I think we're going to see a... a, a a few more things or more than usual things pulled off of the shelves or on recall from contaminated water and my alertness to the water issue went off the charts I was suddenly very aware that we all have to do something to make a difference in protecting our water so you know and yes little things one person can make a difference. I mean, whether it be like garbage collection or advocating for water or marine life, our water is going to be saying, hey, we, I need some help here. If you want to sustain, you know, the, the life that we're used to with water, having it automatically out of a tap 
or being able to get it to places that don't have it, we need to pay extra attention to our water and our water systems this year. Remember that I said it. It, it, there was, it was huge with water. And I was a little bit surprised. Be, I, 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 I didn't really see that coming until I was like, you know, really deep into meditation with this whole water awareness. We've got to straighten up on how we're treating it. Um, so that being said, um, tap into your local communities. What's going on in your local lakes, your local rivers? Um, you know, cleaning up ecosystems and ponds, paying attention to, to the water, how much we're wasting, right? Like you run your tap when you don't need to, like paying attention to the what's happening with water and also taking precautions around large bodies of water, having respect for water. We don't respect water enough. And I felt that like very deep. We need to have more respect. We need to have more respect for Mother Earth to begin with. But water seems to be this big thing that we're taking for granted. And it's going to be a focus this year. Um, now, that may not be across the globe, but it, it's going to be in, in, in big parts of, of, our, of, our, of our country, of our countries. We're going to have to be aware of our water. Um, so that's what I felt with water. And I feel like I could rant and rant and rant. That's how passionate and that's how aware of it I was. Okay, now, um, economy. Economy, I felt, now this is a, a little bit of a difficult one to tap into because I have to con tap into it globally. So globally, um, it, you know, it didn't feel horrible. It did feel like a bit of a gravel road, but I felt like I was driving fairly straight on it. There are going to be some dips. Some areas are, are, finan are struggling more financially than other parts of the world. But collectively, overall, I didn't feel horribly. Do we have to be aware? Yes. Do we have to be, um, you know, take precautions with our finances? Absolutely. I also felt with finances, and I'm not quite sure how this is going to play out, but when I was sitting with, with that whole ec economic piece, I felt a little bit of, 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 of a hiccup that connects to the technology. I don't feel a massive grid shutdown. I don't, I, I didn't pick up on like this massive fallout. But what I did feel is, is, is some glitches and those glitches we're going to have to be a little bit prepared for. doesn't have to be a substantial amount of money, but we need to be prepared for it. If there's a pause or a freeze or we can't access it when we need to being able to maneuver around it. So, you know, a little bit, a little bit of extra cash, um, or a little bit of extra food, um, in case the grocery stores close for a day. Um, but I felt like we needed to just kind of say, what would I do if my bank card didn't work today? Right? That's how it felt. But I didn't feel it. And I want to be very clear here. I didn't feel it as a crash. I, I, I didn't feel it as, as, this, as this huge, huge, oh my gosh, I need to have a big, big plan here. I just need to be smart. We've become too dependent and we're going to be leaning into even more dependency on technology and we need to be aware that it has its faults. And we need to be able to function when it has its faults. Make sense? It makes sense, but how many of us are prepared for, for that? I know many, many are not. Okay, so now I wanna talk about, um, I wanna talk about some movements. I wanna talk about uh, humanity. I feel that um, later on in 2024, um, we are gonna have more of a, um, a stand-up. We are going to have more of a collective, no, we're, we're going to be saying no to a few things. We're going to be saying no to a few things politically. Um, and we are going to do it in a very different way. It did not feel um, abrasive or aggressive or um, angry. A little bit of frustration, yeah. Um, but what I seen was, was I seen our youth. The younger generation, um, and 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 younger being, in, you know, like even under forty. Like I've seen that, like you know, like those late teens, like you know, the younger younger people coming together and organizing and organizing a more of a stand in your power, stand in the truth, standing for what's right. But it had a very 
gentle vibration to it. It didn't come across as things being um, destroyed. It came across more of a, and I'll use the word spiritual, it came across more of a humanitarian way of speaking. That's going to lead into a lot of our own ethics and a lot of our own what's your truth and what do you, and we need to be very clear on, on, on where our own lines are, right? On what's, you know, what we're okay with and what we're not okay with. And I think that part of the reason why politically, yes, we have, yes, we can vote and yes, there's this and that. But we kind of go at things out of anger and we kind of go at things from, from a very fearful vibration. I felt the younger generation shifting that. And I was like, oh, thank you very much. I felt them coming in with more of a very matter of fact, heck no, right? but in a more of a loving heart chakra, throat chakra space with speaking heart energy and really standing up in, in that in that kind of number wise, right? Now, this doesn't mean that it's going to be a great big world event, um, but just watch your pockets in your community. Um, are young people showing up more and more at town hall meetings? Are young people showing up more and more um, to speak, um, you know, at events or at venues? I feel this rise up and I feel it coming in a beautiful way, but at a, at a rate of a freight train. I just, I just feel it coming in. And I think for many, I know, like, um, you know, and, and I'm going to say this lovingly, um, a lot of, of, of generations sold their power. They did exactly what hierarchies have told them, right? So, you know, the, the hierarchy of, of politics, hierarchies of churches, hierarchies, we've come, we were like, there's a lot of compliance for many, 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 many years. And even though there may be grumbling in, you know, in, in a household or in a, in, a, in, a, in a gathering, there has there hasn't been for a long time this more of a of a of a, of a collective stand up, and it's it, we're going to start seeing some of that coming into 2024. And as 2024 kind of moves along, um, and as leaders see that there are voices that are going to lovingly be heard. Um, that is where some shifts politically, I, I feel, are coming. Now, I don't like to talk about politics. Um, and I'm going to give this as a very broad because politically things can change depending on a number of factors. But I felt, um, um, depending on where you are in the world as well. So I don't feel a whole lot of settling with the un unsettled right now. I don't. Um, I, I felt that there's a lot of work and there's a lot more, there's a lot more, um, there's a lot more going on there before it settles is, is kind of how it feels in other parts of the world. Um, I feel that when it comes to wherever you are, whenever it comes time for your voting, whenever it comes to, whether it be a uh, president or prime minister or mayor, any level, okay, any level. And this is what spirit said to me, uh, be aware of the me and the I energy. That's not the energy that we want. We want to listen to we, um, and we want to listen to more of a collective, um, narrative and a lot of the masking politically will be coming off in 2024. I feel like 2024 from the political point of view, I feel like we're going to be getting a lot of truths. I feel like there's going to be a, um, and of course there always is, this is not new, Politicians and leaders like uh, it's a power role. Power roles are ego based. Ego based is very me orientated, right? Me, my power, my my country, my province, my city, right? My 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 street. That's that's a very me ego orientated piece. I feel that with technology, there's going to be a little bit of a push to try and manipulate that a little bit. Um, with, you know, what's real and what's not real and what's going on and what's not going on. However, energetically, it's like the truth is going to come out like it never has before with what agendas are. And as people, as communities, as countries, um, we're going to be showing a lot of things, but we have to be willing to see it. 
And we need to step back from, I know this is just an example. Um, my grandfather always voted for that political party. So I'm going to go that route. We need to really listen and use our intuitive piece because no matter what technology produces and no matter how fast paced the physical world can be, we still have our intuition and we still have that spidey sense and we still have that knowing and that connection and we cannot be pulled from that. And there will be a lot of things, um, I'll use the word truths told. Um, and I actually, in my meditation, um, there were singing canaries. And the canaries that were singing were singing the truth. Um, you know, and it's almost like, if, you know, if you don't tell the canary a secret, it's going to sing it. That's what I feel politically in many different aspects of, of the world is there's going to be this whole, no, here's the truth. The canaries will sing as to what's been kind of going on. And I say that with kind of a chuckle because some of it, it's like, yeah, it's about time. <laughs> it, it, this how it felt. It felt was like, yeah. Um, so with this truth now, when truth is spoken and this, it, you know, whether it be the big things or the small things, when truth is spoken, it takes us to now to acknowledge that, right? So we need to kind of step out of old ways of, of doing things politically we need to allow new movements to come in and that will be a lot of the younger energy coming in. They have been energetically preparing, um, whether they're, they're probably not aware of it yet, but they have been preparing um, to kind of take this movement on into, into this shift of um, that's not right and it's time to change. There will be a lot of, and I felt that it in a bit of a mixed bag, I felt like there was going to be a lot of... Um, Policies started and canceled, like like you know what, because so so much is changing so rapidly, we don't have a lot enough things in place. We don't have enough things to say. Well, if this happened, this is the policy, right? And I think that that is going to have like a bit of a stagnant feeling there. With well, we never thought about you know if we introduce AI, this is gonna or this is gonna arise, right? And with that, and and and, and with with the growth and with this rapid thing that's come up. We haven't thought of, or or leaders haven't thought of, of things of that are going to pop up that are going to shake things up that we don't, that doesn't necessarily serve us, right? So, at a personal level now, um, and it does tie in a little bit with the political stuff, but at a personal level, we're also going to be shifting. Um, and many of you may already be in this space, but many of us are not. We are going to be shifting more into into what is ethically right, what is spiritually, and what you know what is right, energetically, and what is of the heart space. We're going to be coming into that. It's going to matter a lot more than it has recently, if that makes sense. Um, but it's also going to come into this this shift when I go into personal. When I feel like people are going to be standing up for, I don't want this anymore in my life. I don't want to do this anymore. I, I, and change and, and finding a new route in new ways are going to really be loud this year. So at a personal level, this may be, um, you know, your kids may be changing what they want to do for a career. Um, relationships may be, may be like, yeah, it's been nice knowing you, but I really want to do something else with my life. Um, I really want to have this experience and explore. We're going to be coming, standing up into that awareness of, um, I'm only here for a short time and really embracing that. So experiences are going to be more of what we're after. We're going to be less of wanting things and more experiencing things. And with that, it's kind of funny because technology is going to bring us a whole different platform and a whole different, um, serving of experiences. But with all that, we are still going to be craving that hike up the mountain, that trip to the lake. We are really going to, and we're going to have to really listen to that. So we're going to have to listen. And I heard it and chuckle, if you will, that call to the wild, right? That, that connecting back to the earth, the simplicity and the balance of where things are. Technology is great, but so is nature. And so is balance. We're going to want more of that. We're going to want less social media, you're going to want less movies. You're going to want less fake. You're going to want less of that. 
and more of simplicity and, and balance. Now, that doesn't mean that the two worlds cannot and will not work great together. They can. Absolutely, they can. Um, but it's going to be up to you to decide to step into the balance. Now, this is where things get really kind of, I don't know, kind of weird. Um, <laughs> all of a sudden, I was I was aware of um, um, big industry, big mu music industry, big uh, like Hollywood, uh, big platforms. And it was kind of quiet. Like, I, I don't... Like, there's just something, I don't know if it's going to be, like, less focus on stars or or, or people of in a uh, high position in the music industry. Um, I f it felt quite quiet. Um, either there's not going to be a whole lot of new, 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 you know, new creations or creators. Um, but, and here's where it kind of shifted is the entertainment industry also dictates to us, Right. Um, dictates um, what kind of music is on the radio, dictates what kind of movies are in the theater, dictates who's famous and who's popular. It dictates fashion. It, dicta it, you know, it dictates what's cool and what's not cool. And we're not going to want much of that. Any we're really not going to want much of that 2024 and 2025. And how I felt it was we're going to create our own music, our own magic, our own um, sense of of what sounds good. And that may, doesn't mean we're all going to be singers, but we're going to create that space of, of, and perhaps it might be listening to old music, but we're going to create our own, um, culture, if you will, your own personalized culture. Um, you may take up hand drumming, you may take up painting. We're going to be craving that. And it's because of the whole growth in technology so fast that we're just going to energetically want to say, Hey, I, I just, I just, I need, I need some simple. I don't want to know about what's in style. I don't want to know what's trending. I don't want to know there's going to be that. And at first when I, I, I sat in there, I thought, is it censorship? No, it was what we don't want anymore. We don't really want, there's going to be a big step out of a lot of things that are toxic um, because many of us are are having in these moments of we realize how heavy that toxicity is um, personally or to our family, to our children. We're going to have a realization there. Now, with technology and with politics um, and with that whole truth being, uh, you know, unveiled, the canary singing, um, there will be the word censorship or things not being divulged or told or shared. That part, yes but not with what I was seeing and feeling as far as, um, you know, like, like big music world or big, um, Hollywood worlds, like those kind of big fashion worlds. That's really, really less, really, really less. And it's in, in part of, of the whole, um, simple, um, and, and perhaps we're going to seek more simplicity because technology is making things complicated perhaps that's where the balance is going to come in as well is you know what like there's enough technology at work and there's enough technology at home there's enough technology at school I think I just want to like hand drum or or toss some stones so I think I think our form of entertainment is going to shift into what we find entertaining um because I I, I really feel as much as technology is coming at us I didn't feel it entertaining. Uh, I didn't. I didn't feel the entertainment factor there with it. I mean, yeah, it'll be some things are cool, and, and you know, and some things will be you know fun to try or fun to see. But we're gonna lean the other way, and it's gonna be because of this fast pace. We're going to you know, and perhaps we're gonna do it without even realizing it. We're gonna try and slow it down because of this fast moving twenty twenty four. There's got there's there's just a lot of stimulation. Um, and that whole, we are one with the earth energy, that movement, that, you know, that whole, you know, the birds singing, the animals playing, we're going to crave that. And we're going to kind of naturally go back to that. And we're going to do a lot of healing in that. The, you know, the way of, of releasing energies, I, you know, I see us, I don't see us into big buildings anymore or big spas anymore. I see it into very simple, you know, retreats and healing on the ground. And coming back into that grounding energy because 2024 is like, that's how it feels. 
it that's how it feels in so many different ways um so for your own well-being and for your own well-being and you know and whatever works for you um just make sure that as the world speeds up and the world has been speeding up for some time like you know we've we've accomplished a lot i mean there are people in my household that have never seen a, a, a rotary phone. Like there has been a lot and now we're taking another huge leap into that. Right. And it's that whole excitement when they created the wheel and when they created paper, that whole world changing, um, moments, that's what 2024 is going to, um, be very symbolic over. Um, yeah. So, Lean into what really matters to you. Lean into what sim simplifies things for you where you can. And as we grow and change, and it's not a bad thing to evolve and to change, but we are the, we are the first. We are the first. So with us being the first, it's going to come with, with some experiences that are going to be, well, that was great, but it didn't work. Well, that didn't work. That worked, but they abused the power of it. Right. So we are, we're like, we're like the, you know, like we're like navigating through this huge, huge moment in the history of change and technology and growth. We're paving the way and it's going to get a little, um, foggy at times. It's going to be about grounding. It's going to be about how, what can I do to just not get too carried away, um, to remember what really matters, to understand that we're paving the way. And that's the other thing is that understanding of we're paving the way into that, right? We're paving the way into that deeper understanding. Lean into, now here's one thing that will help. Lean into our youth. And I know I've said this before, and there's a big reason, um, you know, it, it that this keeps coming up for me. Our youth are here to help us navigate that change. You know, the soul comes for different experiences. And the youth that are here today, the younger generation have come almost with an energetic um, chip from spirit. Um, they're perhaps their souls higher evolved for this timeline, but they've come here, um, with a solid sense of it. Right. Um, and when you think about it, they learn it so quickly. <laughs> right. So, you know, baby, baby boomers, not so much, you know, um, grandparents and great grandparents, not so much. They don't learn it as quick. The younger ones, it's like, yep, makes sense. Yep. Makes sense. Yep. Yep. They can, they just have a knack with it. They're here to help, you know, with that transition. They're here to help with that process. They're also here to help us spiritually grow. And there's going to be a, a lot changing with spirituality. Um, and it needs to. Um, and I've been saying this for a long time. It needs to resonate with you. Don't land in gimmicks, right? Like don't, don't follow just because a bunch of people are doing it. Like find your own way, your own way of healing, your own energy, tapping into that and, and, and allowing that to kind of be your, your compass, right? Your own intuition, your own senses, your own knowings, your own spirit guides. Our youth um, have that and they have a phenomenal way of communicating energetically. Now, that being said, um, I do feel us getting support from other dimensions. I feel, and I will use, I will use the word, um, ET, I will use, um, and whatever that means to you, but there are the dimensions that are, have already gone through this stuff that we've gone through. They, they're like higher evolved. They're kind of like sending information and they're sending, and they're sending like awareness and downloads and they're sending us support and they're sending it to the youth. And I know that may sound a little, um, weird, but when you think about what our youth are doing and the new world they're creating, they're, it's not all, they're not wrong, right? There, there's new ways of communication that's going to evolve from there. Our youth are, are extremely intuitive. Our youth even have a higher telepathic ability to be able to send energy and frequencies. That's coming from somewhere, folks, right? So I'm just going to, I'm just going to say that. So, you know, with that support and with that energy, pay attention to the youth around, you know, observe them, right? Be a little bit more open to the fluidity of, of growth, right? When they developed, when the wheel was first developed, and I don't even know who, de who developed the wheel uh, or paper or, or, or even the light bulb, that one I know, but, um, 
when new things were created, you know, we they had to learn about them. They had to learn how to use it. And that's kind of where we're going into 2024. We are going to be learning all how to how to keep up and how to grow and how to change with this fast pace moment in time. And it's going to feel very, very fast. Spiritually, don't be afraid to slow it down. Don't be afraid to take time. Don't be afraid to say it's a me day, right? Don't be afraid to put your feet up and just just kind of breathe. Because even if you, you know, don't necessarily work with AI or work with all these new technologies, the vibration is going to feel very fast. Yeah, that was a lot. That was a lot. Um, so let's see how we navigate through this. I will be keeping up with the um, energy updates on the channel. Um, I'm not quite sure how that's going to look yet. I will be making some announcements. Um, because I've got some really cool videos that I, I really got to get working on, on filming and some new adventures for the Hawk and I, um, there's some travel coming. So keep an eye out for that. I am going to be, uh, moving around and, uh, I'm very excited for that as well. Um, yeah, I think right now we have Mexico booked, but anyway, I will be posting, um, the Hawk and I updates, um, separately or on the community page. As always. I'm wishing you love, light, blessings, and let's have a spirit-guided 2024. Take care.